Good afternoon, everyone. Um, Mass will be beginning outside with the blessing of the palm. So if you would like to join outside, um, Father Ben, that would be lovely. Thank you.
Before him, lift up your voices. His life for us, the pledge of salvation. He took upon himself the sins of the nation. The King of glory comes, the nation rejoices. Open the gates before him, lift up your voices. Good sin and death, he truly has risen. He will share with us his heavenly vision. The King of glory comes, a nation rejoices. Open the gates before him, lift up your voices. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God. Who, who, as an example of humility for the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross, graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering and so merit a share in his resurrection, who live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. The word of the Lord.
scoff at me. They mock me with parted lips, they wag their heads. He relied on the Lord, let him deliver him. Let him rescue him if he loves me. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Indeed, many dogs surround me. A pack of evildoers closes in upon me. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? They divide my garments among them. And for my vesture haste, can they cast lots? But you, O oh Lord, be not far from me. O oh, my help, hasten to aid me. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? I will proclaim your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, give glory to him. Revere him. All you descendants of Israel, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human appearance, and found human in appearance he humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, honor to Lord Jesus Christ. Praise and honor, praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which above every name. 
Praise and honor, praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sing the uh, Passion is long. If you cannot stand, you may be seated. The Passion of Our Lord Jesus Christ According to Mark The Passover and the Feast of Unleavened Bread were to take place in two days' time. So the chief priests and the scribes were seeking a way to arrest him by treachery and put him to death. They said, That not during the festival When he was in Bethany reclining at table in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came with an alabaster jar of perfumed oil, costly, gen genuine, spikenard. She, spoke the al she broke the alabaster jar and poured it over his head. There were some who were indignant. They were infuriated with her. Jesus said, Let her alone. Why do you make trouble for her? She hath done the good things for me. The poor you will always have with you. And whenever you wish, you can do good to them. But you will not always have me. She hath done what she could. She hath anticipated anointing my body for burial. Amen, I say to you, wherever the good gospel is proclaimed, to the whole world. What she hath done will be told in memory of her. Then Judas Iscariot, one of the twelve, went off to the chief priest to hand him over to them. When they heard him, they were pleased and promised to pay him money. Then he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, when they sacrificed the Passover lamb, the disciples said to him, Where do you want us to go and prepare for you to eat the Passover? He sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the city, and a man will meet you, carrying a jar of water. Follow him. Wherever he enters, say to the master of the house, The teacher says, Where is my guest room where I may eat the Passover? pass over with my disciples. Then he will show you a larger upper room, finish it and ready. Make the preparation for us there. The disciples then went off, entered the city, and found it just as he had told them, and they prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he came with the twelve, and as they reclined at table and were eating, Jesus said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me, one who is eating with me. They began to be distressed and to say to him one by one, Surely it is not I. He said to them, One of the twelve, the one who dips with me into the dish, for the Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for what that man if he had never been born. While they were eating, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them, and said, Take it, this is my body. Then he took a cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, and they all drank from it. He said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which will be shed for many. Amen, I say to you, I shall not drink again the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Then, after singing a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus said to them, All of you will have your face shaken, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep will be dispersed. But after I have been raised up, I shall go before you to Galilee. 
Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Peter said to him, Even though all shall have their faith shaken, mine will not be. And Jesus said to him, Amen, I say to you, this very night before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. But he vehemently replied, Even though I should have to die with you, I will not deny you. And they all spoke similarly. Then they came to a place named Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. He took with him Peter, James, and John, and began to be troubled and distressed. Then he said to them, My soul is sorrowful even to death. Remain here and keep watch. He advanced a little and fell to the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass him by. He said, Abba, Father, all things are possible to you. Take this cup away from me, but not what I will, but what you will. When he returned, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not keep watch for one hour? Watch and pray, for that you may not undergo the test. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Withdrawing again, he prayed, saying the same thing. Then he returned once more and found them asleep, for they could not keep their eyes open and did not know what to answer him. He returned a third time and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? It is enough. The hour has come. Behold, the Son of Man is to be handled over to sinners. Get up, let us go. See, my betrayer is at hand. Then, while he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, accompanied by a crowd with swords and clubs who had come from the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders. His betrayers had arranged a signal with them, saying, The man I shall kiss is the one. Arrest him and lead him away securely. He came and immediately went over to him and said, Rabbi. And he kissed him. At this they laid hands on him and arrested him. One of the bystanders drew his sword and struck the high priest's servant and cut off his ear. Jesus said to them in reply, Have you come out as again a robber with sword and clubs to seize me? Day after day, I was, with, I was with you teaching in the temple area, yet you did not arrest me, but as the scripture may be fulfilled. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? And they all left him and fled. Now a young man followed him wearing nothing but a linen cloth about his body. They seized him, but he left the cloth behind and ran off naked. 
They led Jesus away to the high priest, and all the chief priests and the elders and the scribes came together. Peter followed him at a distance into the high priest's courtyard and was seated with the guards, warming himself at the fire. The chief priests and the entire Sanhedrin kept trying to obtain testimony against Jesus in order to put him to death, but they found none. Many gave false witness against him, but their testimony did not agree. Some took the stand and testified falsely against him, alleging, Even so, their testimony did not agree. The high priest rose before the assembly and questioned Jesus, saying, Have you no answer? What are these men testifying against you? But he was silent and answered nothing. Again, the high priest asked him and said to him, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One? Then Jesus answered, I am. And you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power and coming with the clouds of heaven. At that, the high priest tore his garments and said, What further need have we of witnesses? You have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? They all condemned him as deserving to die. Some began to spit on him. They blindfolded him and they struck him and said to him, and the guards greeted him with blows. While Peter was below in the courtyard, one of the high priest's maids came along. Seeing Peter warming himself, she looked intently at him and said, But he denied it, saying, I neither know nor understand what you are talking about. So he went out into the outer court. Then the cock crowed. The maid saw him and began again to say to the bystanders, Once again he denied it. A little later the bystanders said to Peter once more, He began to curse and to swear, I do not know this man about whom you are talking. And immediately a cock crowed a second time. Then Peter remembered the words that Jesus had said to him, Before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. He broke down and wept. As soon as morning came, the chief priest with the elders and the scribes, that is the whole Sanhedrin, held a council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate questioned him. Are you the king of the Jews? He said to him in reply, You say so. The chief priest accused him of many things. Again, Pilate questioned him. Have you no answer? See how many things they accuse you of. Jesus gave him no further answer, so that Pilate was amazed. Now, on the occasion of the feast, he used to release to them one of the prisoners whom they requested. A man called Barabbas was then in prison along with the rebels who had committed murder in a rebellion. The crowd came forward and began asking him to, to do for them as he was accustomed. Pilate answered, do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? For he knew that it was out of envy that the chief priest handed him over. But the chief priest stirred up the crowd to have him release Barabbas for them instead. Pilate again said to them in reply, Then what do you want me to do with the man you call the king of the Jews? They shouted again, Pilate said to them, Why? What evil has he done? They only shouted the louder. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas to them, and 
after he had Jesus scourged, handed him over to be crucified. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? The soldiers led him away inside the palace, that is, the praetorium and assembled the whole cohort. They clothed him in purple, and weaving a crown of thorns, placed it on him. They began to salute him with, and kept striking his head with a reed and spitting upon him. They knelt before him in homage, and when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the purple cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and led him out to crucify him. They then pressed into service a passerby, Simon, Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. They brought him to the place of Golgotha, which is translated place of the skull. They gave him wine, drugged with myrrh, but he did not take it. Then they crucified him and divided his garments by casting lots for them to see what each should take. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. The inscription of the charges against him read, the king of the Jews. With him, they crucified two revolutionaries, one on his right and one on his left. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads and saying, Likewise, the chief priest with the scribes mocked him among themselves and said, Those who were crucified with him also kept abusing him. At noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And at three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lema sabachthani, which is translated, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of the bystanders who heard it said, One of them ran, soaked a sponge with wine, put it on a reed and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait. Let us see if Elijah comes to take him down. Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. The veil of the sanctuary was torn from top to bottom. When the centurion who stood facing him saw how he breathed his last, he said, Truly, this man was the Son of God. There were also women looking on from a distance. Among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of the younger James and Joseph, and Salome. These women had followed him when he was in Galilee and ministered to him. 
There were also many other women who had come up with him to Jerusalem. When it was already evening, since it was the day of preparation, the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, a distinguished member of the council, who was himself awaiting the kingdom of God, came and courageously went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Pilate was amazed that he was already dead. He summoned the centurion and asked him if Jesus had already died. And when he learned of it from the centurion, he gave the body to Joseph. Having bought a linen cloth, he took him down, wrapped him in the linen cloth, and laid him in a tomb that he had been hewn out of the rock. Then he rolled a stone against it, the entrance to the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, watched where he was laid. The Gospel of the Lord. Pray to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, we celebrate the Palm Sunday as we enter the Holy Week. The passion of Jesus is a measure of God's love for us. The love that God loves us, so, love us so much that he can die for ourselves. Love to the, to the end. So how do we res- respond to God's love? I invite you to reflect those characters in the passion to identify that sometimes we are or how we respond to God's love. Whether we was the woman that give poor the perfume oil to, to Jesus, to respond that give God the most expensive, what the most precious to God. Or are we sometimes at James, Peter, or John? That is, don't stay awake with Jesus to pray. Or sometimes that we, like Peter, deny Jesus by our sins. Or sometimes we are identify ourselves at the crowds mocking Jesus by our sins, by our words or deeds? Or even are we sometimes that respond to God's love as the centurion that proclaiming this is the son of man, this is, son, this is the son of God. So let us reflect during the Holy Week so that how can we able to respond to God's love so that we can be resurrected with him. Amen. Please stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ.
Let us turn to God now and pray that those who still search for meaning will be drawn to the saving death and resurrection of the Lord. That the church's celebration of the Paschal mystery will deepen our faith and lead us to be unafraid to share the good news of salvation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For lawyers and judges, may God's just judgment inform them in seeking truth, justice, and dignified treatment for all who come before them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this Holy Week will find us returning again and again to this sacred place to offer praise and thanks to God, whose only Son was sent to be our Redeemer. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That the sick will know the healing power emanating from the cross of Christ especially those who are listed in the bulletin and on the projection screen. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died, especially those who are listed in the bulletin and on the projection screen, will be surrounded by the saints in the heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Dan Horgan, for whom we offer this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our personal needs that we hold in our hearts, those in the Book of Remembrance, and for all the people for whom we promise to pray, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God of love and mercy, from the cross of your Son cry out to you, Hear the prayer of your people baptized in his image. Heed our cries and bring us one day to eternal life with you. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the crucified and the rising one, who lives, who is the Lord forever and ever. Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, have mercy on me, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, have mercy on me, Amen. Son of God, have mercy on me, have mercy on me, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, have mercy on me, Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. You are the Son of the living God. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. You are Son of the living God. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, have mercy on me, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy.
mercy on me, have mercy on me, amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, have mercy on me. Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, have mercy on me. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Through the passion of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, so that, through, so that though we do not merit by our own deeds, yet by this sacrifice make once for all, may we feel already the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere do give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for those innocents he suffered willingly for sinners and accepted unjust condemnation to save the guilty. His death had washed away our sins, and his resurrection had purchased our justification. And so with all the angels, we pray you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Pleni sunt celi et terra, gloria tua. Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus qui venit in nomine domini. Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created. Rightly give you praise for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit. You give light to all things and make them holy, and you never see to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may offer to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, spirit graciously make holy the gifts, we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate the mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of, his, of the saving passion of your Son, it wonders, wonders resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostle and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unhelp, unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your Purim Church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, with Timothy and Thomas, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we, await the, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Be with you, yeah. On you stay, qui tollis peccata mundi. Miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, Miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, Dona nobis pacem. Mm -hmm. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I'd like to bring to your attention a few things before you receive communion today. This has been um, shared with you a number of times already in the last, the past few weeks, but sadly this continues to happen again. Um, we find the Eucharist in the pews. I found one last Sunday, a parishioner, um, came to me and reported a Eucharist was found in the pew pocket, despite reminding people that they must consume the Eucharist as they receive here, do not carry the Eucharist away to your pews. So this is what we are going to do, and I hope you all cooperate with us, because we have to make sure that our Lord is not desecrated, that um, it's it hurts us all to see that, that some people, without discerning what they are receiving, disregard the Lord, throw him away under the pews, or sometimes even take him away with them. So when you come up to receive communion, when the priest or the Eucharistic minister says, the body of Christ, please, everybody, if you can see me, Please put out your hand this way. We know you are a Catholic. Please put out your hand this way. from heaven above I am the vine that fills your cup with joy take and eat take and eat this 
this is my body given up for you. Take and drink, take and drink. This is my blood given up for you. I am the way that leads the exile home. I am the truth that sets the captives free. I am the life that raises up the dead. I am your peace, true peace I give to you. Take and eat, take and eat. This is my body given up for you. Take and drink, take and drink. This is my blood given up for you. I am the Lamb that takes away your sin. I am the gate that guards you night and day. You are my flock, you know the shepherd's voice. You are my own, your ransom is my blood. Taste and eat, take and eat. This is my body given up for you. Take and drink, take and drink. This is my blood given up for you. I am the cornerstone that God has laid, my chosen stone and precious in his eyes. You oh, are God's dwelling place, on me you rest, like living stones, a temple for God's praise. Take and eat, take and eat. This is my body given up for you. Take and drink, take and drink. This is my blood given up for you. I am the light that came into the world. I am the light that darkness cannot hide. I am the morning star that never sets. Lift up your face, in you my light will shine. Take and eat, take and eat, this is my body given up for you. Take and drink, take and drink, this is my blood given up for you.
Let us pray. Nourish with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son, you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection, you may lead us to where you call, through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael, defend us in God. May God be humble. As we are entering into Holy Week, we have a full schedule to prepare ourselves for the resurrection of our Lord on Easter Sunday. On Holy Thursday, we will have our Mass of the Lord's Supper at 7 p.m. On Good Friday, we will have two English and one Spanish prayer service with the veneration of the cross. Please see the bulletin for all the times, as well as the Easter schedule. This Wednesday, there will be no confession at St. Killian, as we will be at the, at the penance service at Our Lady Queen of the Angels in Newport Beach. Please join us there. And there are no confession on Holy Saturday. We will begin the nine-day novena of Divine Mercy on Good Friday, ending with the Divine Mercy Sunday. And see you all on Easter Sunday. And before you uh, go home today, the youth and young adults, they have the uh, Easter candy. Please stop by and support them. Thank you. And palms. On the way out, the palm is already placed on the way out, you can bring it home. Yes, yes, yes. The Lord be with you. With Bow down for blessing. Look, we pray, O Lord, on this, your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ did not hesitate to deliver into the hands of the wicked and submit to the agony on the cross who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. God loves you. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom.